quick tutorial on heat welding. First you're going to start out with your first piece of vinyl. It's going to have a very true and straight edged cut on the one side. When you bring in your other vinyl from the air other area, it also needs to be very true, very true and straight edged. You're going to want to put the vinyl together so it has a slight gap, enough so you can see the tape that's holding the vinyl down through the gap. And this is important because we're going to need to be able to see it so that we can run our gouge. Press that vinyl firmly. Make sure you have your heat gun set to 450 degrees and that it's already turned on and warming before you get started. We're going to use a hand gouger on this one. There are mechanical gougers. Sorry, airplane going by. There are mechanical gougers, but we're going to use this manual one. Now, the reason we had that groove, like I said, was so we can keep an eye on the middle of that, plus the manufacturer says, please leave a gap. We're going to run that groover down firmly and straight. Should look like bunny ears coming out. And for the most part, they should be the same size. If they're not, you're running off and you need to straighten your pull. It's okay if it runs back and forth a little bit. The welder is going to make up for all that. Okay, we're at the end of the tape, so I'm going to release the tool. You should have this tip on your gun. This is the only tip that's going to work. It's the only one they make for it, so it's hard to mess that up. You need a piece of welding rod. You want to cut it to the length and then some of your seam, so you'll have a little extra to start and to finish. You want to feed the heat weld rod through here and leave a couple inches out so you can get hold of it without getting your hand burnt. I'm going to hold the tool here and I'm going to heat the vinyl with the slot in the bottom of the tool as well as heating the welding rod itself. We want to have them both hot before we try and put them together or we'll have a cold weld and it won't work. pressure and when you feel it sink into the groove you can start moving don't move too fast don't move too slow you can see right there it got a little hot on my right side but we'll be able to get that fixed up no problem you know you're doing well when you see the sides of the welding rod are melting as you push it down and they're kind of coming out of the crack When you get to the end, or whenever it is you want to stop, especially if you're in an enclosed area, you'll have to be start uh, from the other side. When you get to the end, just pull the gun up and away, and pull the welding rod out of the middle of the gun. Turn your gun to zero and let it cool down. Now we'll give this a few seconds to cool off. I'm going to take my quarter moon knife, and I'm going to cut that material right there so we can work with it. Same thing on this end. We have two different knives we can use here. One of them is called a Mozart knife. This knife will take off most of the material. It has a raised blade and a spacer right above it, as you can see there, that keeps the blade off of the vinyl so that it doesn't cut into your pretty material. Start in the middle of the welding rod, not at the end, because we'll pick that end right out and you could de-weld it or remove the uh, adhesion. Get that piece off of there. That's driving me crazy. Okay, starting from the middle. I'm going to just drag the knife sideways or straight across at it. I'm not going to try and dig it in. I'm just going to hold it nice and flat and run it across there. Same thing in reverse towards the other way. That knife will remove the bulk of the material, but the one that you want to finish with, that I find the best to finish with, is the quarter moon knife. 
Now you lay it flat and start on this curled edge and start in the middle once again and just work it down flat onto the material. That'll guarantee that you don't cut into the vinyl, but you do get the vinyl weld completely cut off and flush with the top of your other vinyl. Same thing with the cut, turn the knife around and go the other way. Make sure you keep the spatula knife, there's another name for it, very flat. If you lean it up, you'll start cutting into the vinyl around the weld. Without further ado, there's your vinyl weld. It's clean, it's flat, it should have a little bit of shine to it on the outside edge. That lets you know that you did burn into the vinyl and that there is a good weld between the welding rod and the vinyl material itself. Now it's as good as a factory piece of material. Please share with your friends. You're welcome.